to broadcast boxing after many, many years in open TV broadcast and cable and pay-per-view. For you, what is the meaning of this moment in your career as a John executive in television? Uh, it's, it's a huge moment for our business, more importantly than for me. Um, it's a significant uh, acceleration of our vision to um, become the world's premier sports broadcasting platform. Uh, when we entered America, we looked at boxing um, as, as a sport in which we felt we could serve fans better, with a better proposition, with a better uh, way of consuming content that wasn't as cumbersome as pay-per-view, it didn't require as much investment. It's a far more fan-friendly model. And we knew that to do that, we needed to attract the world's best fighters and make the world's best fights on the platform. Via Matchroom, we obviously have a, an established relationship with Anthony Joshua. We looked at the middleweight division, we thought that is where we want to play as well. And Canelo Alvarez was the absolute you know, cherry on the cake that we could have gone after. So um, we're delighted that Canelo and his team, and the Golden Boy team, shared that view, recognized the opportunity that a different broadcasting platform gave them, recognized why Canelo should do this and encouraged him to, to sign the deal that he did with us. So um, I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud to be a part of it. And we're very much looking forward to Saturday night. Many people ask, how long time take to sign one of the biggest starts in the boxing uh, history, yeah. Canelo Alvarez? Well, I think it's been well covered in the media, actually. So John Skipper, our executive chairman, popped into Los Angeles for a meeting with Golden Boy and ended up not leaving for two weeks. So I think he said himself he went shopping on Rodeo Drive to buy some new underwear and then went back to the office. So um, it was a rel relatively swift deal. It was a, a unique moment where um, one of the world's premier sporting rights with a major boxer was available uh, in a short window. And when you have those windows in sports broadcasting, you need to take them. So. We are a pretty nimble business. We know what we want to do. We've got a very clear strategy. And I'm, I'm delighted to say that we were able to execute that deal very, very quickly. So two weeks, I think it took. Many boxing fans are claiming the third fight between Canelo mm. and Gennady Golovkin. Some sources say the zone are talking with Gennady Golovkin people to have Gennady in his platform. It's that true that Gennady is close to sign a contract with the zone? I don't talk about our ongoing conversations uh, in, in, any, in any context. I won't comment on that. What I would say is that naturally, the zone is a boxing broadcast platform. We want the best fights, the biggest fighters on our platform. Um, so of course, we'd like to work with the biggest fighters in, 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 in the US. Golovkin's one of them. Um, I also would say that the zone control the middleweight division. What is Via the our relationship with Matchroom and Golden Boy, the big fights in the middleweight division will happen on the zone, um, and I'll leave it at that. Are you all have a, a specific goal of downloads during this week? Yeah. Tomorrow, at the, after the weigh in, Saturday, hours before the fight, have a specific goal with yeah. any downloads for the application during this week and the day of the fight? We do, and I'm not going to tell you what that is. <laughs> so um, we keep that behind closed doors. We've got a business model. Uh, but I would say the most important thing for us is we have a long-term deal with Canelo. This is the first of 11 fights in the initial deal we have with him. We have a fantastic roster of content that we'll start making some announcements uh, on Saturday night on the broadcast about our 2019 content schedule. Uh, and for me and for our business, we wouldn't do a deal with Canelo for one fight. It would make no, no sense. We can say on Saturday night, and we will be saying, our production team will be saying, you can watch the next 11 Canelo fights, 10 more after tonight, exclusively only on the zone as well as 100 fight nights a year, as well as our baseball offering that's coming in in March. So it's all about long-term deals, regular content, high quality production, and a good customer experience at a very low cost relative to the previous model of pay-per-view. So we're going to introduce ourselves to a much bigger audience, a Hispanic fight fan base we haven't spoken to or met before come Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. We're very excited to give them the experience we know they'll enjoy on Saturday night. By the way, you announced Uh, Raymond with MLB, that's yeah. our very huge uh, yeah. thing. And what about that? What is the plan for have MLB on the zone? The, the beauty of fight sports, right? I'll start on fight sports. Is it gives you these massive moments of high interest. Saturday night is a big moment of interest that drives a lot of attention for a number of hours. What it doesn't give you is every single day content. And 
building a broadcast platform like we are trying to do here in the US, you need a regular content offering that if you come in on Saturday night for the Canelo fight, you want to watch something immediately afterwards. It might be the case that we haven't got a big fight for another 10 days, 12 days. So we needed something content-wise that appeals to boxing fans, that appeals to a general sports fan base, and is every single day. The great thing about baseball is one, tying it to the Canelo deal, it's got the biggest crossover of all the top leagues in America with the Spanish Hispanic audience. Yes. So there's a crossover of alignment there. So people who like Canelo also like boxing. There's a big crossover there. And it also happens every single day of the year in the season, right? So we have a regular content offering from March that can keep people engaged and bring people in more regularly than major fight nights can because there's not gonna, there's not gonna be 200 days of those in a year. In baseball, there is that kind of number of days that you can fill with high quality content and it's a different way of consuming MLB. It's a live looking, it's around the leagues, it's not sitting down and watching a four hour baseball game, it's watching the best moments from the, all the games as they happen concurrently. So it's a new way of consuming boxing, it's a new way of consuming baseball, and we're not gonna stop there. We've got ambition to go way beyond that uh, and continue to adding content to our platform. Thank you so much, it's a pleasure nice for me. Thank you for your okay. support.